Yo guys, Sexy here from Twitter Designs. Today I'll be creating a Y2K clothing brand from scratch, including the logo, color schemes, apparel designs, and all the way to the full collection. So sit back and enjoy the video. Let's go. So guys, this is the mood board for the logo. Not much is going on really, just some common Y2K logo style. But I do want to keep it as simple as possible because the design direction that I kind of have in mind right now um, is more like a fusion of Y2K and modern asset. So I don't want either of these elements to clash with one another. So I'll restrain myself from doing too much with the logo. But yeah, the goal today is three main designs and then I'll just switch them up on the silhouettes. Maybe even creating alternative versions of the design just to expand the collection even more. So yeah, I'm ready to start now. Let's get it. Right, so the base logo is done. Now I'm gonna add some Y2K elements to it. This is my new Y2K icon pack and get it from my store, link in the description below. But yeah, I'll test out a bunch of these icons and see which one that sticks. <laughs> So guys, I can't believe I forgot to mention the brand name up until now, my bad. Um, the brand name is Ego Death. Now I'm adding the death text to the logo. This is actually my trick when it comes to logo designing. Um, if you're working on a long name like Ego Death, you can always separate them into two sections where one is bigger and more significant than the other. Uh, in my case, I feel like having the ego in bold and bigger would look better. Uh, and then just have the death smaller in the corner, kind of like an added element to the logo. I feel like creating another version of the logo right now because I am not 100% sure with the current one. Um, or maybe I could just use both of them in different designs. So yeah, this could be like a safety net in a way. But yeah, after this, let's move on to the first design. So guys, now in Photoshop, I'm adding colors to the logo just to get me into the mood of the aesthetic that I'm about to do to the first design. Um, I've pre-selected these colors. They're my favorite color scheme, uh, mainly the blue, red, yellow combo. I always use them. So yeah, let's open the logo files. I've decided to go with both of the logos. We'll start off by adding a color overlay to the logo first, and then we'll link a layer to the top of the logo, and then just brush on those layer to, you know, to add those accented colors. So yeah, this is just basically how I do it. The concept for this design is the head figure as the main focal point of the design with a crown on top of it signifying ego in a way. I'm um, sure you get the point. So now I'm getting rid of the shadow in the assets by adding a mask layer and then using the brush tool to brush out um, the shadow while setting the blending mode in overlay. Now this works like magic as you can see here. We're just gonna do one more brush and it's perfect.
All of the assets are all in the working file. I'm not gonna lie, I do feel like having the crown on the figure looks silly. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking, but I'll still give it a try and see how I feel about it. Um, the design style will be stencil based, so you will see a lot of threshold effect as well. So I've decided to use both of the figures and get rid of the crown. After that, I'm gonna add some sparks to the eyes and some stars to the insides of the figures. And then just gonna start playing with the colors and wrap the design up. For the second design, it will center around this horse's head and then some text placement below it to achieve that acid aesthetic. I'm gonna keep this one simple and then aesthetic reliant so we'll see how it pans out. Also, I will test out this pixelated effect that I've recently discovered. So really, really looking forward to that. Um, if you're wondering where I got these 3D assets, they're from Envato Elements, which is also today's sponsor. Bottle Elements has a huge library of high quality stock photos, videos, motion graphics, fonts, and so much more. I've tried many sites over the years and nothing comes close to the value you get from Envato Elements. With the 50 million assets available on their site, you can literally search everything you're looking for and filter the results even by colors. What's even better is you get unlimited downloads, so if the asset you found isn't quite working for you, just jump back in and download some more. Click the link below to get 50% off on annual subscription and try it out for yourself. Right, so here's how I do the pixelated stencil effect. Add a threshold layer above the design file and then go to filter, pixelate and mosaic and then just bump up the numbers until the pixels are visible even from far away. Now, I really like this effect looks. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna create two of these effects, one for the mid-tone layer and then the other one for the highlight just to create some depth to the design. Now comes the part where I add the logo. I'm gonna put it in this shade of red. As you can see, I'm still using the same color scheme from the previous design. Um, I just use a different color as the main color tone. And then I'm gonna add some more text below the logo for added elements. And then after that, it's pretty much done. But obviously, this is not the final result. So make sure you stay until the end for that. For the final design, I'm gonna go with the white background because obviously I want the design to be printed on a white shirt. 
Um, the design concept is a silhouette of a man jumping with pedals trailing below him. Uh, I'm gonna do the same pixel effect as I did to the second design, but I want this to just be a one color design. So maybe just black on white, but we'll see. So now I'm working on the text. I actually don't have anything planned for this yet. So um, uh, you might see me struggle a bit later on, but I'm gonna experiment with vertical text placement. I used to do that often back in the days when I was an up and coming designer. So I kinda wanna bring it back to this design. Almost done oh guys, I really like how this placement looks. It isn't practical obviously, but it does look pretty solid to me. I'm just gonna test out some other things and wrap it up and show you guys the full collection. That's it for today guys, hope you enjoyed the video. It actually took me two days to get this all done, so let me know which design is your favorite down in the comments below. If it gets enough demand, I might actually start selling it, who knows. Anyway, subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on my weekly upload. Thanks for watching.